directly come dancing will be hit by a major BBC schedule shake-up this weekend as two World Cup games will stand in its place. The dancing competition will see the remaining five contestants put on their best show as they make their way into musicals week. The musical special of the ballroom dance contest usually airs on Saturday with the results show being shown the following Sunday. However, this week the live performances will be shown on BBC One on Friday 2nd of December at 8pm, with the results following on Saturday 3rd of December at 5. 40 p.m. A spokesperson told Mail Online, Strictly Come Dancing will continue to bring glitter, glamour and glorious dancing to homes across the nation throughout the 2022 FIFA World Cup. The quarter-final of Strictly Come Dancing will now air live on Friday 2nd December and the semi-final will now air live on Sunday 11th December on BBC One and BBC iPlayer. The official Strictly Come Dancing Twitter account also announced the change to its fans and said, We're on your screens on Friday and Saturday this week, so set your reminders for hashtag Strictly now. Fans of the show were left annoyed at the announcement, with many replying to the tweet airing their thoughts. Tom Jameson fumed. Not thrilled about having our autumn slash winter Saturday night ruined for some poxy football match, between two teams you don't even know yet, that could have been put on iPlayer for those who are actually interested. At Aura3107 asked, why not put the football on BBC2 instead of completely messing up the schedule? At Cafix72 commented, why can't the football move? This World Cup is unpopular why make more of a fuss? Keep Strictly where it belongs. Hashtag Strictly. At Hanan44 exclaimed, Never in the history of well-loved and established TV shows has a TV show been moved around in the schedules so much. I have to look up what time it starts every week, and I'm pretty sure every week is different. Lou Hillier jibed, absolutely fuming about this. I love football but I don't appreciate it meddling with my TV run up to Christmas schedule. Sick, however, not all were annoyed about the schedule change, with at Ken Ewer tweeting, every reply from people complaining about their plans being changed. What about the dancers? They have a day less to learn and rehearse, surely that's more important. Sick, alongside the shake-up, the BBC crew have also been struck down by the coronavirus as seven people tested positive after Kim Marsh's bout with the virus. In a statement, a Strictly spokesperson said, Kim Marsh has tested positive for COVID-19. As a result, Kim and Graziano, De Prima, will not be taking part in Strictly Come Dancing this weekend. Strictly Come Dancing protocols mean that all being well, they will return the following week. A source told The Sun that bosses have had to pull out all the stops to ensure they keep the production on schedule. Obviously it's a real blow to have Kim knocked out this week and then the crew members started falling sick too. The bosses have been praying all week no one else tests positive. While the celebrities and dancers are the main focus, losing members of the production crew also has the potential to cause huge problems. Strictly runs as a well-oiled machine, but is able to do that because of the crew, who have to be on their A-game for pretty much the whole series. Strictly Come Dancing airs Friday from 8pm on BBC One, 